Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> I didn't know which video I was going to post first, but I'm filming two in a day, so I'll just give the same disclaimer in this one. This is... My, I'm new, like using a camera, so I'm trying to learn ins and outs of it, so please, please bear with me when it comes to audio, <laughs> angles, um, pretty much anything in general when it comes to filming because this is so new to me. I've only ever used my phone <laughs> to film and a camera is just new. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way because I feel like I've been messing with it. Like I just filmed a video use with the camera and I messed with it quite a lot. I feel like, um, so I'm hoping this shirt already has cat fur on over all everywhere. So I'm hoping everything is good in that video and in this video. Like I said, I'm not sure which one I'm posting first. So you'll probably hear something similar to this. Also, I'm going to try to get through this video as quickly as possible because it's hot in here. I had to turn my fan off, so the noise, but whew, it is warm already. So let's go ahead and get into this. So as you can tell by the title, I have another Halloween haul for you guys. This one, I didn't do any in-store filming. Um, I just kind of was not feeling it the day that we went shopping. Cause, so we were kind of all over the place. We went to Cracker Barrel, Big Lots, Michaels. I think that might be it. I do have some Dollar Tree stuff in here and also like one random little thing from Walmart. I don't know what it is about my town in Texas, but they still don't have fall stuff out. It is August 15th and we went to Walmart yesterday for groceries and they still had their school supplies out in one little back wall of just fall. They didn't even have Halloween stuff. I did get one item, but yeah, um, it just takes forever. I think we had the best luck at Big Lots and Michaels. Cracker Barrel did have their whole Halloween display out, but we didn't get anything at Cracker Barrel. We actually got Christmas at Cracker Barrel, which I was kind of surprised by. Like, I used to work there, so I kind of know when they put things out, but I guess I just didn't realize how early it was. But yeah, they already had um, one... One, two full Christmas displays out, plus they were working on putting the rest of them out. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let's start with things I only got like one or two items at. So um, from Walmart, I did just pick up, I saw this in somebody's video. It's like a little, um, just like a little, I forgot what these are called, um, embroidery. Like an embroidery ring that says fall on it with really pretty leaves. This was only $3.98. I think this is so cute. It's just a really cute traditional fall touch for decor. I do wish that this wasn't so plasticky, but I think it's it, I could get away with making it look good. Now, I will say about our fall decorating, we do it kind of backwards. Like right now, everybody's decorating for fall, but we in September, we will decorate for Halloween and then at the end of October we take it all down and for that little bitty period in November before we decorate for Christmas we will decorate for fall and it's just the easiest time in our house because it's not overwhelming with decorations like it is for Halloween and Christmas but it is just very nice and light and cute so I thought this would be a perfect addition to that. We went to Dollar Tree and our Dollar Tree actually they're adding in the Dollar Tree Plus sections which I was super surprised at. I did get this little LED cauldron mist maker from there. It is five dollars. I will say I did plug it in and try it. I don't know if I just filled it up a little too much with water and it stopped working but it did not put up a lot of mist. Um, it is very cute though. It just says Witch's Brew on the front and it has a little which on the back and it does it was very nice it did put off light mist I'm gonna try it again and I'll put I'll insert some footage of it as well but yeah it's just very simple it's USB plug-in so I thought that was really cool and it was really interesting seeing some of the stuff they have in their Dollar Tree Plus section it was kind of on par with Dollar Tree quality but overall Dollar Tree quality the past couple years has gotten a lot better and I did have to restrain myself from going a little too crazy in there because it was stuff I didn't really need, but I just wanted. But other than that, we did get a couple of their mini 
fragrance cinnamon brooms from the Dollar Tree. We just got two. I thought these were really cute. I am kind of imagining a more practical magic vibe for my kitchen this year for Halloween. That is the reason why I got those and that's also why I picked these up. They have these in three different colors. They have these black, this orange, and like a purplish shade and these are just um, little brooms. I like these because I can tell that I can just remove this bow, which I will probably do because it's just kind of on there with a little tie. But I kind of was imagining these again in my kitchen for like a very natural, witchy themed, like dried herb type thing. These are the black ones that I got. The brooms are kind of more gray. And then I also got the orange ones. Okay, I just picked those up. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I do plan on filming a decorate with me this year, so hopefully y'all can see that. So I guess let's jump into Big Lots. So Big Lots had a lot of um, cute stuff out. They didn't have any of like their yard decorations out quite yet, but they had um, a lot of stuff out in their aisles. They weren't fully prepared for it, but... They had a lot. So I guess let's just start with this. This is the one fall piece that I got from Big Lots. Um, this was $4 and it's just this wooden stand. It has a little easel and it's just homemade recipes baked fresh daily. Little slice of pumpkin pie. I think this will look very cute in my kitchen. And like I said, we just like very delicate fall decorations to kind of have the calm before the Christmas storm. So yeah, this I think would be really cute. And like I said, it was only $4. So I really liked it. Um, next from Big Lots, I got this mug. Um, I liked it because it's like a giant oversized teacup. This was only $5 and it just says arsenic on the front. I really like this. Like I said, it just looks like a giant teacup, just white on the inside. And yeah, I really like this. I thought this was cute. I love the way the handle is and it's really adorable. So yeah, it is a little outrageous how many mugs I have for Halloween. I really do probably need to go through them, but I just can't help it. I'm surprised my sister let me put this in our cart. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is really, really cute. We also got this from Big Lots. Um, I will show, it's kind of hard to see here, but this is, it's a cat. It's like a window clean decor thing. You, it has a little hook. You can suction cup to your window and it just lights up. We usually have like the set of eyes that we put in our window, but I thought this would be really cute. Show some footage of this lit up. I think this is really adorable and I'm not sure how much it is because we took it out. <laughs> And this was only $10. I did have to look it up because uh, we took out the bag. But they also had a really cute um, jack-o'-lantern one, which I really liked as well. This is what the jack-o'-lantern one looks like. I think that one is really cute as well. Okay, these last two items from Big Lots I'm super excited for. So in my last Halloween haul, I talked about how At Home had just a bunch of cute little, like, smiling, happy little ghost. Well, Big Lots had... This one, this one is $8 and he's just so adorable. He's so cute and he does light up. I know it's kind of hard to tell right there, but I will, um, like I'll post some footage of him lit up in dark, in the dark. So it's, he's easier to tell, but yeah, he's just so cute. They also had one that didn't have like a little smile and he just looks a little creepy. So we got this one and he's so adorable and I cannot wait to display him and to go along with him. Cause I feel like this is a little bit more like traditional type Halloween. We also got this light up, um, jack-o'-lantern. This was $10. And, oh, I'm so happy with this one. He's so cute, and he looks just very traditional, and I love it. Like I said, $10 for this isn't bad. Um, again, I'll insert some footage right here of it lit up in darkness, so it's easier to see, and I'm so excited to have this out this year as well. Okay, so moving on to Michael's. It's the last place that we actually got stuff at. So, Michael's was kind of interesting their themes were I don't know that like romance theme they have I'm just not too okay with I don't know there was a couple pieces in that that I almost left with but I talked myself out of them and I told myself if we go back and they're there I'll get them um but overall we really liked their traditional kind of Halloween like classic creepy spooky Halloween it wasn't creepy spooky but it was like 
very traditional basic Halloween and we really like that so we got most of our stuff from there so my sister got this she thought this was really cute all of their cats this year I think what makes them a little less creepy is their eyes because they did all the black cats with blue eyes so I think that took a little bit of the creepy factor out but she thought this was so cute it was $12.99 and it's just a little cats just playing in the bathtub I do not know where we're gonna put this but I think this is adorable and I really really like it and like I said this was just very very traditional and really cute another thing I will say about Michael's Halloween and Michael's in general I think they are a little too overpriced for their quality their quality is definitely not the worst you could get but it is 100% not the best and I feel like it's a little overpriced for some items like there was a lot a lot that we wanted to get from Michaels and if the prices were a little bit lower we definitely would have walked out of there with more than what we had because we were just in love with everything especially in this specific theme let me see if I can find the name of it so I'm trying to find the, the name of the theme at Michaels but I literally cannot find any of this stuff um but if you do shop at Michaels, you'll definitely recognize this theme. They do have a lot of like the black cats with the blue eyes, like I said. We also picked up this little Hocus Pocus sign. It was $12.99 and it also has a little cat, black cat with blue eyes peeking out from over top of it. This again, it's a little easel sign. Just a really cute, simple touch to add to the decor. Now this piece, once again, I'm super surprised my sister let me get it. Um, it's another cup. <laughs> So this one is from their Dark Romance collection. I guess the theme for all this black cat stuff is Happy Halloween. I'm assuming it's just called Happy Halloween. Um, but this is from their Dark Romance collection. This is like the skeleton lover type thing. And once again, this is just a cute little teacup. This one is quite smaller than the one I got from Big Lots. This one is $7.99. And what I thought was so cute about this is on the inside, I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. Um, it says you've been poisoned. So I thought this was so cute and it's so classic looking. And it's just, you don't expect it to be a Halloween piece because of how dainty and cute and elegant it looks but this overall I really like it I think it's so cute and I'm so glad I had this to add to my Halloween mug collection the last two things that we got from Michaels this is again from their happy Halloween collection I hope that's what it's really called did we need both of these absolutely not do we have plenty of other cauldrons that we bought in the past absolutely but could we pass these up no so these were let me find the tag these were $14.99 each and these are what we got they are just two little cauldrons um I don't know what attracted me like I feel like you don't see orange cauldrons like this and just the material that these are made of they're really heavy duty and I thought these were so cute and they have lids and they are functional like right now we're using them we have like little we're starting our Halloween like watch party, watch a thon thing. So we have some papers in there with movies to draw from. So yeah, um, we don't know exactly <laughs> where we're gonna put these because we already have so many cauldrons. Honestly, we really do. But these were too cute to pass up. They look just very classic, especially this black one. It just looks very classic, very chic and nice. And this orange one, I just couldn't pass this up. I just really needed an orange cauldron, okay? Okay, so it's been a couple, or it's been a week since I filmed the first part of this. And we just went shopping again this past weekend. So we went to Home Goods, back to at home. Um, I got one more thing from Walmart and one more thing from Big Lots. So I guess I'll show the... Um, just the, the few random things that I got. So Walmart still does not have Halloween out. They still just have a little fall section. So all I got from there is I got this little standing scarecrow. I have one that I got from Aldi last year and I think she would just go pretty well with him and she was only $6.97. I think their scarecrows are always really cute and I never buy them. I look at them every year and never get one but 
this year I decided to get this like I said I think it'd go well and I like to do a little bit more on my porch this year for fall time than I have in the past so I think she will be perfect and from Big Lots I got a candle this is warm cinnamon cider this just smells so good it smells almost like a scent we burn at Christmas time but it smells really good and it's just all black all the way around and I think it'll look really good burning in our kitchen while everything else is out and decorated and pretty so also from big lots we got this box of lit twig trees it was $35 oh also the candle from big lots was seven dollars um, but these trees are $35 they come with three um, my sister has a very specific vision in mind for decorating this corner of our living room this year so that's why we got these we'll have to see what she comes up with i'm going to go ahead and show what we got from at home next and then i'll show our home goods stuff home goods is the one that i'm the most excited for so jumping into at home i just got these two um felt velvet pumpkins they already are covered in cat fur but i got to these will most likely be for fall decorations not necessarily halloween the bigger one is $7.99 and the smaller one is $4.99 i don't quite know what i'm gonna do with these yet but i have i got a pumpkin from home goods that i'm thinking will go with it quite well so that is why i got these two our at home had even less than what they did the first time we went um they had it more spread out i feel like and they were already getting Christmas stuff in, so it makes sense that they didn't have a ton of Halloween stuff out anymore. Okay, so I also just got this little witch hanger from $4 for $4.99, and this will just go on our front porch. We have little ghost ones that we put out, but I thought this would just be a creepy little addition to our front porch, and I really liked it. They did have some little ghost ones as well, and they have those really big ghost hangers like they always have, but this was just something different, and I really like this. And then we also got from at home this little um, hand towel set. It was $9.99. You get two towels. One just says Happy Halloween, and then just one has a little cat face on it. These will just be really cute in our bathroom this year, especially because I think I'm going to do something different than I normally do. I'm not too sure yet, but I think this will look really cute in the bathroom. The last thing that I got from at home, we got this pillow. This was in their witch, witch's garden section and it's $14.99, but they do have this style of pillow in their regular pillow section, like in every single color you could possibly think of but I just really liked this green color I didn't see this in their regular section but they did have like blacks and reds and oranges and stuff like that so this was really pretty it's really soft pillow and I think it's gonna look really good on our couch with all of our other Halloween colors and fun stuff we have going on so I just couldn't resist getting this I really love this green color right now it's been my favorite color recently so I just I had to get it Oh, actually, we did get one more thing from at home, and this is, it's already covered in cat fur, but it's $16.99, and this is a bath rug. They had two bath rugs, which I don't think I've ever seen their bath rugs. I know they have, like, regular little accent rugs, but this was just too cute. We could not pass this up. I really love this, and I think it's going to look really cute in our bathroom this year, especially if I go with something different than normal. It's going to look really nice. Okay, so now moving on to Home Goods. I was super excited to go to Home Goods because I've seen so many videos of like what Home Goods had. So I was really excited to go and I was surprised with all the amount of stuff my Home, Go home Goods had there yesterday. Um, so I'll just start with some of this stuff. So we got these pillar candles. They're pumpkin spice scent. Um, they were $12.99 and you get six in the package. And then we also got these pillar candles, the apple pumpkin. These were $9.99 for two. And then surprisingly, I got another tumbler. This was $9.99 and it is just little cats dressed up in their 
Halloween costumes. I thought this was too cute to pass up, so I just had to bring this home with me, and it'll be perfect for that time of year for me, using it to go to work and my coffee and everything. And my sister actually got a mug. This is what it looks like. So adorable. It's kind of vintagey looking with the pumpkins. This was $4.99 and I love that the inside's orange. You have the design on both sides. This was just really cute. We couldn't leave without it. If she didn't get it, I was honestly probably going to get it. So this is the pumpkin that I got at Home Goods to hopefully go with those black felt velvet what I don't know what they technically are but again with green this is just such a really pretty emerald green color and the gold stem just really tied it together this is $9.99 and um I don't like I said I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with these yet but I just I couldn't leave without this one it was really too pretty I just had to get it um they didn't really have any other colors at home goods that stuck out to me that would go well with these so i'm really hoping i can come up with something with between these two that'll look really nice but like i said i just really could not pass up this color it was too pretty and they also had a bunch of stuff like this there they had some bigger ones some with just little different designs and this was just adorable he was 9.99 and just self-explanatory he's so cute i don't know if he's technically supposed to be like a little door stopper because his bottom is a little heavier but he's adorable regardless and i just had to bring him home i could not leave without him home goods was a little hard for me um there was so much that i wanted to get and i kind of had to pull myself back a little bit but this one thing i definitely could not leave without Okay, so there's only two more things that I got from Home Goods. This was the first thing that I put in the cart. He was $24.99. And oh my gosh, how cute is this? Um, I've just really been looking for more vintage -y type Halloween stuff this year. And this really stuck out to me. And honestly, he kind of reminds me of the pumpkin from Halloween Town. He does light up. I'll show just a little image of him at night so you can see him lit up a little bit better but ugh, this was just too cute for me to pass up he was the only one there i didn't see more than one so i definitely grabbed him super quick um yeah like i said the first thing that was in my basket this little witch's hat and the little cutout detailing kind of reflects onto the ceiling when it is lit up so i think overall he's going to be a really good addition i don't know where i'm going to put him yet but I'm in love. So the last thing that I got at Home Goods, this was a decision that I went back and forth with before I actually grabbed it. But I knew if I left without it, I'd be a little upset. They only had two, um, and I liked the color of the inside of this one more. And it was only $24.99, which I think for the size of it is a pretty good price. It is this massive metal jack-o-lantern cauldron and for $24.99 I think it's a really good deal the only issue I was having with it is the paint is chipping like around the edges but honestly I'm probably gonna put this outside anyway with a candle in it to light it up so it's not that big of a deal especially since it's going outside and that's why I didn't mind getting this one but the inside is more of this coppery color and they had one that was more gold and then they also had some smaller ones that were orange on the outside that looked like more like jack-o-lanterns but like I said for $24.99 I really could not pass this up and I think it's gonna look really nice outside and I think it'll add just a little something extra to our porch we don't do a crazy amount outside for halloween but i think this will be good and i plan on using real candles in it so we'll see how that goes so that is actually it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel before you leave also let me know if you're enjoying this type of content i've never done any sort of like Halloween, Christmas, any sort of decor hauls before in the past. And I just really, 
I'm really all about filming what I want to film these days and this is something that I really wanted to do and it's really fun to me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I don't say this that often, but turn on the notification bells. I, again, I'm trying to be more consistent with my posting. Every Wednesday is what my plan is right now and I'm so far so good. Um, so I really hope I can keep that up. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me. Like I said, this camera is new, so I'm hoping everything turns out fine with it. Um, but we shall see. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.